Today, I'm doing a property tour of Lowville Marriott Downtown, located in Lowville, Kentucky. So don't feel bad if you don't know how to say the city's name. They know it's a very difficult name to say, and apparently there's just a ton of interpretations. If you're coming in from the International Airport, the ride is about 11-ish minutes, of course, depending on traffic. Or if you're planning to visit Churchill Downs for the Kentucky Derby or simply wanting to see the Kentucky Derby Museum, it is also 11 minutes. Here's a nice exterior shot of what the hotel looks like when you first arrive. They even feature a fun little horse statue right in front of the hotel, which is very in keeping with the city's DNA. So here's the front entrance or the main entrance into the hotel's lobby. On the right hand side, you'll see Porch, which is the on-property restaurant. I'm definitely a fan of the decor of the lobby and how it's set up. And it's got this amazing open floor plan, so you can really see everything. There's ample amounts of spaces to lounge and hang out. And on the left hand side, or right down the middle, you'll see that it leads right to the front desk. And very in keeping with the location, they have a little shop where you can pick up a bottle of your favorite local bourbon. For those of you who are unaware or for those of you who just don't drink and don't know, Kentucky is famous for their bourbon. So the lobby is actually two floors, so we're going to go up to the second floor. On the second floor is where they have all their meeting and event rooms. The hotel itself just seems to cater to a lot of different businesses and meetings and all that fun stuff, so the spaces reflect that. I could definitely see people prepping for a meeting or a presentation in these little lounge areas. And now for the room tour. We got our key card. When we first enter the room, we have an armoire on our right hand side. It opens up and there's a mirror on one door. You'll find your ironing board, the iron, your safe, some drawers for extra storage, a place to hang things. It's nice that you can have extra storage space. You can stay a little bit more organized. So there's that. We'll close these doors right up. Then on the opposite side of the armoire is the bathroom. So the bathroom features a sliding door, which is very handy and convenient. Also takes up less space. Then we have the vanity, which contains all of your towels. Here's a close-up of all your bath amenities that are located right on the vanity. I like that the bathroom mirror is very large. Opposite the vanity, you have the shower area. It features a glass sliding door. And then hanging on a hook is where you'll find the blow dryer. All right, so let's take a detailed look at the shower area. You have the option to use the handheld shower head or switch to the stationary shower head. So now we're going to exit the bathroom and make our way to the main bedroom area. We got a giant mirror on our right. You'll notice that in this area, the lighting changes to a more warm tone. So much more cozy, much more relaxing. They definitely utilize the space well. There's a bench, but it opens up for more storage. Then right next to that, you have your desk area with a TV. Right below the TV, you do have an outlet and a USB port. Under the desk, you'll find an ice container. Also, you'll find plastic cups. You got a drawer. And then in this little cabinet, when you open this guy up, you have your mini fridge. Then, right above the fridge, we have our coffee station. Then, on the left-hand side, we have a chase and a mini table. So let's get closer to the window, just so you can see the view from the room. So right next to the bed, you have these floating shelves, kind of like a nightstand. On one side, you have the phone as well as a charging station. 
And now I'm going to take you to see the pool and the workout area. So I was fortunate to come during a time where nobody else was at the pool. So basically the pool is ours. No one else gets it but us. You get some fun views of the city area. Being that it's an indoor pool, it is open year round. The pool is also heated, which is a bonus. Overall, it's a great place to relax and unwind. Next, we're going to go to the fitness center. So we're going to make our way inside. Now, for a hotel gym, this is extremely impressive. Just the amount of space, the type of equipment that you're given to use. This genuinely feels like a real gym. They have a hydration station that features towels. They also have recyclable headphones you can use. We have a nice selection of cardio equipment from bikes, ellipticals to treadmills. We have free weights, mech weights, pretty much anything and everything you can want. You can weigh yourself and they also have a roller. So if you wanted to stretch it out, you totally could. Now this is where it gets next level. Some hotels will have yoga mats or a yoga station. This hotel actually features its own separate yoga studio. Let's take a look. This is awesome. It literally feels like an actual yoga studio. I don't feel like I'm at a hotel. They have kettlebells, medicine balls, Pilates balls, rollers, and yoga mats. Literally everything you could ever want in a yoga studio. I'm gonna end the tour with the laundry room. This is what it looks like. It even has a convenient vending machine if you get hungry, a little snacky snack while you do some laundry.